Hey guys, welcome to CR Anti Designers Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to do hard surface modeling in minutes. So now let's get started. Add a cylinder, shift A, add a cylinder and vertex should be 16 and then rotate it into the 90 degree and then control R to add loop cuts. So add a two loop cuts like this and scale them along the Y axis with the scale tool. Now you need to select the spaces. So just select the spaces and then press I to insert and give the proper thickness for the insert operation. Then you need to select the spaces and then E to extrude and move them along the Z axis and then scale them and make it straight along the Z axis. And that's fine then you need to add loop cuts like this so add a loop cut and make it straight with the scale tool just need to use the scale tool and give the amount zero for the z-axis and then you need to select the spaces and then extrude this so you will add a little bit of surface there and now you need to select the spaces and then insert this and use the eye for that and then one more time you select these faces and then press I before that you need to add a loop cut at the center and then select these faces and use the loop tool and now you can see that option is on so just turn off sometimes we press O and that get option gets on now you need to select these faces and then you can use the loop tool to make that circle and then you need to add subdivision surface modifier and then add a loop cuts which are necessary to tighten the geometry so just select these faces and then you need to add a loop cuts like this wherever it's necessary and now we will create the boolean on this so just select these faces circular faces octagons and then press i to insert and then e to extrude inside so just extrude inside then one more time press i to insert and then add a loop cuts like this to make the geometry more sharper and tight so just add a loop cuts like this and you can see our mesh looks pretty well with the few modeling methods we have created this and then let's add more detail on it so press select the spaces and then press i to insert for the insert operation and then use extrude to um, extrude along the normal and create a tapper kind of shape here and then one more time press i to insert and then use the loop tool and then loft option is there so you will create this Otherwise, you can delete the faces and you can use the bridge edge loop option. Then add a loop cuts like this, which are necessary to make your hard surface model more sharper. So add a loop cuts wherever it's necessary. And then you can see our mesh looks pretty well. Just we need to add one loop cut here. So add a loop cuts like this. And you can see our mesh looks pretty well. Decent kind of hard surface modeling we have done in the minute. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.